practice skateboarding. I practice a lot. When I sleep, I dream about skating. I dream and I dream. Soccer is not nice because people they fight in soccer. Skating is nice. We skate aid, we empower kids. That's our goal, that's what we do. And skateboarding is just a tool for us. I mean, skateboarding is not just a sport, it's way more than that. If you pick up a skateboard, that's your decision. You decide what to do, when to do, and you can try to learn a trick by yourself, or you can skate together with your, with your friends. And skateboarding is not easy. I mean, it's compared to other sports, and you're gonna fall off a lot, but you have to learn how to stand up and try it again. And that's something you need for your whole life. We go in, let's say, sketchy areas, because sometimes it's, uh, there's a lot of crime, they're selling drugs around the corner, and the kids have almost nothing to do. And a skate park is a safe place. Yeah, this is a good example here, like in Namibia, Windhoek, the park we built early this year, together with Global Experience and um, the guys from the school. And uh, this is only one example of, of, of many examples. We have uh, skate parks all over the world, uh, built by Skate Aid. I'm happy about the support from all the coaches working for Skate Aid. Yeah, they do an amazing job. They have the connection to the kids. They know how to deal with the kids. And a guy, for example, a guy like Gabu here in Namibia, he's, he's unbelievable, man. If he walks into the skate park, all the kids, they, they, actually they freak out to see Gabu because he's not just a, the coach, he's a friend. And he became a good friend of, 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 of me. The first days, uh, I think, <laughs> one of the hardest times in my life <laughs> because you can imagine a, a guy like me coaching a bunch of uh, hearing impaired kids shouting around and uh, you realize like oh they are not mm, hearing <laughs> they are not listening to me so basically i had to go behind every single one and tap them and explain them and uh, i learned like uh, the basic signs for example thank you please like hello how are you i'm fine uh, after a while, you get used to it. Uh, but yeah, at the beginning, wow, struggle, man. <laughs> One of uh, the, the, you know, most heartbreaking uh, experience I, I had here at, at the skate, uh, skate park in, in Namibia um, was uh, when uh, I saw a hearing impaired kid uh, helping to a visual impaired kid, so, um, deaf kid helping a blind kid how to skate. And when you see that, you realize that these kind of projects, you know, are worth it. I cried the first time in Kenya. When I spent the first six months volunteering for Skate Aid. And that was my first experience in Africa. And uh, yeah, it was like a cultural shock for me the first two months. And I remember, you know, sometimes uh, facing that kind of situation where you work with uh, orphan kids and street kids and they don't have nothing. At the beginning, it broke my heart, broke my heart completely. I like to go to Germany to go make competitions. Then I'll go meet the German children. And I'll make competition, then I'll win a lot, a lot of competitions. Then later I'll fly back to Namibia. Then I'll be responsible of the small kids, then I'll teach the small kids how to skate. It's interesting how um, you see them develop, you know, that self-confidence. And also you can see how they start to interact with each other. That's why a skate park is, uh, I think, very important uh, for, for this kind of country because it, what we create here is like a hub, right? It's a hub where uh, they can hang out. It's not just skateboarding, it's, just, it's more than skateboarding. It's uh, a social uh, community spot. Oh.
For me, as the governor of the Commerce region, I am just full of, of weight of thanks, I'm full of joy, and I'm full of appreciation to those that have felt it must be brought to Namibia. The day when I was there, when we were launching this project, I have looked at the faces of the young ones, I have seen how they have accepted it, I have observed how they love it, and I have observed how they think it is fun. It is also occupying their space in terms of being tempted to do other things that are not accepted by the community. Hence, they are saying, I better rather go for skating than go and do other, other things that my parents will not be happy about. So it's a whole range of a package and it's a whole range of benefits towards our, our children. When we're skating, it doesn't matter if you're blind, deaf, mentally disabled, rich, poor, black or white, we're all just the same.